Okay, I want to do a little short video on these comb picks. This set of four is from Sparrows. And uh, it's a set of tension wrenches, top of the keyway or bottom of the keyway. Uh, this one right here is for a tubular pick. It's a tubular pick, I mean a tubular uh, lock tensioning tool. Um, I bought these and I never got the comb keys to work on anything. And the way they work, it actually works on this Master Lock 140. You find the key, the comb pick that'll work. The main thing is you, you've got to get past boarding. You see how this is an open keyway? And this one, the warding is a little bit more difficult. And that one really gets in the way. You can't get physically get the comb pick in there without uh, getting it stuck or jamming it. It just doesn't want to work. The same way with the uh, the standard master lock warding. If you look at, you try to get that sucker in there, and you're going to have an impossible task. If you try to jam them up past these pins right here, you might get past the first pin, but then you're going to get stuck. And you're going to have a hard time getting this pick out. But let me demonstrate how this thing works when it works. You find the proper one that will line up with the pins. You line this last little tooth right up here with the first pin of the lock. Let's see if I can get it in there. There we go. You jiggle it and you push it all the way up. And then it's just a matter of turning like a key. You don't even have to pick this. This particular lock I have not opened by picking yet, but I have opened it this way. Um, this lock can also be bypassed with a knife tool by swiping both sides, but you just jam it up there. Once it gets all the way up, you just turn it like a key. And that's all you need for the Master 140 this particular comb pick will work now it won't work on any of the other ones but it will work on that so that's part of the process of having a bunch of different tools is to have the right tool for the job uh, the difference between this five pin pick and this one is the spacing of the teeth and this sucker is really wide I've yet to get it into any lock and have it function, but I do like this tubular lock tensioning tool, otherwise it's pretty hard to, you can take an Allen key and file it down and get it to be a tubular tension tool also, but this one comes great out of the box. So anyways, that's just a short little video on bypassing a Master 140 with a comb pick. And if this winds up on the UK Lock Sport uh, video website, please remove it because they are not allowed to discuss things like bypasses on there because they're afraid of people doing illegal activities. A bypass really takes almost no skill. I'd say it takes some skill because you have to know what you're doing. And uh, for me, because I am not in England and I'm not under these restrictions and I'm in the great United States of America, I can do what the hell I want as long as I'm not doing anything illegal. Well, these are my locks, so I can do whatever the hell I want with them. Anyways, if it does wind up on that website, please remove it. I'll remove it if I find it. It's not supposed to be up there. This is just for the world consumption or whatever. Oh, and let me just do a real quick open of this master lock simply because I bought this one and I paid 10 bucks for it. And it's so damn easy to open. Um, you shouldn't waste your money on this as a practice lock because it's just, it's not really much of a practice. And it's that easy. It's going to take me longer to find the damn pick I want to use than it is to open it. Alright, I'm using bottom of the keyway tension and this guy's a little bit too small for that as a tension tool, but... Yep, I think it is too small. And I just made a bunch more. Yeah.
stretch your video out to like 19 minutes because you're incompetent and you don't have yourself organized. All right, homemade tension tool. I'll get in there with me bow guitar. And I just do a little rocking around while applying tension down here. And that's how fast you can open up a maximum security master lock. Look at all this rating it has on this. Level 9. Like level 10 is the highest. Okay. I would not rate this as a level 9 against a pick. It may be tough under fire. But it's not tough under Bogota fire. Alright, have a nice day. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'd like to say be safe and be legal, but uh, I don't always do either one of those things. But I could understand why it would be good advice.